I am so excited to be back. So hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. Where the frick has she been? I am so sorry. I feel like I've really let the team down. I feel like we need like a big fat freaking catch up. So much has been going on in my life. I say so much has been going on in my life and then I'm like, actually what's been going on? Honestly, missed you guys. I missed filming so much. So I asked the question box on my story the other day. So I'm gonna answer all the questions. Just chat. Of course we are going to Costa. I am so excited to get a Costa. When I come home, I have this sudden extreme dream craving for a costa i don't know what it is is there something in the air so if i sound a little bit bunged up i am i've got this like head cold really like sinusy i done a tiktok yesterday and i was like why is it raining it's illegal to rain it should be illegal to rain in april and we're still in fucking march i did not even in my head we're in april but we're actually not and i'm really not looking forward to hay fever season does anyone else get really bad hay fever because my hay fever is awful and at first i thought what i had was hay fever but i was like i'm not itchy so it's defo just a cold life has been a freaking roller coaster and those of you've been asking how i am and honestly mixed i'm good i'm just stressed i have six weeks left of uni kind of thing i don't even know if it's six weeks i think it might be five weeks which again is also giving me like mixed emotions because i live with my best friends you know my girls i feel like you guys have seen them in the vlogs and stuff i literally love and adore them it's the only experience in my life i'm ever going to get where i'm going to be living with my best friends and it's been so fun and i can't believe it's going to be over so quick like it feels like it's finishing way too soon don't get me wrong i am so beyond excited to not have to do uni work or uni or anything like that anymore because that's been such a big stress i've been home now for nearly a week i have not opened my laptop i've not done any uni work i didn't even really do uni work for the week when i that week when i was coming home from uni either when you're so stressed about something that you keep on putting it off because that's what i'm doing right now so i came to get a costa yesterday before i went to ikea and the drive through was closed so i really hope it's open today because i really don't want to go in i love the whole drive through experience do you know what i mean the drive through is closed so i'm gonna have to go in which is brilliant doing like loads of construction site i really hope they're building a bnm i can't lie we really need a bnm a little bit windswept but i'm back sorry if the light is really bad by the way i don't really have anywhere else to move to and i really can't remember what i finished off by saying i think i was just talking about uni like all i talk about is uni in my videos at the moment because it's the only thing that's actually consuming my life and as i finish uni i have so much exciting stuff planned and coming up i feel like there's gonna be some big things coming and i'm really excited like really excited for it i'm all good i've just had a crazy few months and i'm just really excited now like i'm really focusing on finishing uni and focusing on after uni but it's just so exciting to be doing my dream job full time like i know i pretty much do it full time now but being able to do it full time is just crazy next question is have you found what car you want yet someone else asked are you still going to get a new car when you finish blah, blah blah i've had about four questions on my car i have found the car that i want i have my heart absolutely set on it like the only issue now that I have is that when I found it and like I built it and all sorts, I done it about a month ago. There was a few available in this colorway since I've been looking since I've been home because I wanted to go and view one. There's none to be found in the colorway that I really want. So that's a bit of a spell in the works. But then I also think it will be there when the time is right for it to be there. Do you know what I mean? You all know me. I live by the motto of everything happens for a reason. And when something shit happens, I'm like, it happens for a reason. I'm just chilling. I think me, my mum and my stepdad are going to go car shopping next week and kind of go to the garage and speak to them and kind of see what they say, get the vibe, because then if one does come in or if they see one, then they can get it in for me. I feel like I also do need to go and kind of just have a look and make sure I'm 100% certain on this car, but I'm pretty, like I'm 95% sure that this is the car I want to get, which motivates me so much because before I knew I wanted a new car, but then I didn't know exactly which one I wanted. Whereas now I know what I want. And I'm like oh, excited quite a few of you have also asked what my favorite tv show is I don't I've never had that question so many times I am currently absolutely obsessed with married at first sight Australia if you haven't watched it you need to watch it it's so good it's on channel four way better than love island in my opinion I just think Australians just don't care and I don't know if maths I don't know how big maths is in Australia but like compared to love island here the way some of these people are acting they would never in a million years act like that on like uk love island it's actually crazy it's so good every single episode is so much drama love is blind on netflix as well completely up to date with that the thing with me is that i binge watch so i'm not getting new episodes of love is blind until the 31st of march and i finished that the other day so then i moved on to watching rise and fall on channel four as well it's kind of like a game show a bit like traitors i don't know if any of you have seen traitors really good i am basically just a tv slag like i love watching tv tv series films i'll put anything on as soon as something's in the 
the top 10 on Netflix. Like, I'll pretty much watch it. Finished You within like a day. The end of that season was really good. Outer Banks, unreal, amazing season. Loved it. Do you want your own place or stay with your parents? So, I think I will definitely stay with my mum for like maybe a year i don't really know i haven't really thought about it. it genuinely with my job i can never predict how much money i'm gonna get so right now i could be like yeah it'll be a year but then in two months time it might be oh i can move out now like i know that's really far-fetched but do you know what i mean you never really know i just want to make sure i'm a hundred percent financially stable for a long period of time for like after i move out so and that's why i'm saying about a year or so. I'm not 100% sure of where I want to move to yet. So I'm just chilling. I'm really not thinking about it. Like I love my room at home. Love living with my mom and my stepdad. So it's not like a pressure of like, I need to move out now. I want to move out. Like I don't feel that at all. Also we start my clothing brand as well. I love just talking with you guys about it and just keeping you in the loop of like everything because it's just such an exciting thing for me. I do kind of feel like I'd want to be at home when that first launches just because my mum is obviously going to be a really big help in it and if everything goes to plan it's going to be looking like a next kind of spring around this time next year fingers crossed hopefully there's so much work that's got to go into it but yeah i've done all my designs now i kind of know about my first collection which is really exciting and i do probably start doing it i'm going to document the whole thing and i'm really excited to kind of share the experience with you guys with starting up your own brand because that was something i always wanted to do even before doing uni and doing influencing i always wanted to have my own clothing brand and i just never knew kind of how to go about it and like with starting my own business like i'm still not like very clued up on it like i know more now than what i did so i really just want to document it for you guys what's one main goal you want to accomplish before the end of the year that's such a good question and i've never thought about it i don't really like set myself you know it's good to set yourself goals because obviously you've got to manifest it but then i also don't like to put pressure on myself because especially over last year i put so much pressure on myself and i just stress myself out whereas now i'm just enjoying like living in the moment enjoying the journey like just chilling living my best life honestly right now in this time it would genuinely just be to get my new car continue like working with my favorite brands um and like building relationships i feel like that's one of the most important things in this industry is like building relationships with people and that's just what i want to continue to keep on doing and just being happy completely understandably i got a lot of questions and have been getting a lot of questions every single day and a lot of certain comments and everything on all three platforms about a certain situation which i do just want to reiterate i completely understand why and i just feel like i owe it to you guys to just let you know that me and shan aren't friends anymore and i hope you can understand that that's kind of all i'm gonna say on it and all i'm ever gonna say on it to be honest i didn't even want to speak about it but i understand why you guys would want to know so i'm just gonna say that and leave it at that i really do from the bottom of my heart appreciate all of your guys support and checking up if i'm okay i'm honestly all good next one i've been getting a lot as well is are you still single what's the situation in your love life are you still in a situationship blah, 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 blah. i've had loads of questions on that i am as single as can be for me at the moment i am just on my focusing on myself focusing on my career having time on my own that, that's kind of where i'm at see probably not a lot of you guys know this but i was i've basically been in like relationships since i was 14 so that's like seven years of my life in a relationship and yeah i just really just want to be on my own for a bit and just spend time working on my career working on myself and yeah that's that so i'm a single gal living a single life oh my god i got a shortbread and i haven't even eaten it yet I literally get the same cost to order every single time because i'm that basic bitch i also just wanted to say in terms of youtube posting obviously i've had so much going on especially with uni that i'm just gonna keep it 110 real basically tiktok is my main source of income and with everything being a bit all over the place at the moment trying to find time to film tiktoks is hard as it is so then trying to find time to film youtube because youtube is a lot longer of a process that's kind of one of the main reasons to why i haven't been posted as much because i just genuinely haven't had the time and it really upsets me because i love filming so much i'm not stressing myself out about it because i'm like literally in five or six weeks time i'm gonna be back posting all of the time because it's 100 my favorite platform it's just the one that doesn't bring me in do you know what i mean the income and i do have to put that first because obviously this is my job i'm planning on doing at least a video a week on the next few weeks but if i am a bit quiet then that is why and i'm also am weekly vlogging this week and i have been thinking the next few weeks just do weekly vlogs even if i'm at uni even if i'm stressed just kind of bring you along in the journey and like cook dinner with me and stuff like that's so when i'm back at uni and to be honest probably just make the most of the uni content whilst i'm at uni because i'm literally not gonna be at uni for much longer do you have any holidays planned yes i'm so excited there's three holidays at the moment that i have in the kind of works one is ibiza 
one is Marbella, and then one is another trip with Courtney and Caris. We might go away for a week in July. So I'm basically planning on going away May, June, and July. I think it's been confirmed, but they pretty much are kind of confirmed. It's just kind of going through the process, but I'm so excited. I went to Zara and Primark yesterday and I was like, oh my God, going on a shopping day. It was so bad. <laughs> Why can't I find anything I like? I was like, going around Zara, I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna get something, get some cute bits. I literally didn't like any of it and I was so upset. I had laser arm hair removal yesterday, buzzing. I've had it done before, but it was quite a while ago and I basically had like appointments on my therapy clinic account and they were like, oh, do you wanna do it? Cause I was going there for a M sculpt treatment. And I was like, yeah, go for it. And she was like, oh, how was the pain last time you had it? And I was like, can't really remember it being that bad, to be honest. Oh yeah, it was a lot worse this time. Also, another little product recommendation. I've got the Refi brow tint on right now. I don't know if you can see. It is really, really good. Like I would definitely recommend it. It's like a non-permanent tint. I know all the information because I've done an ad for them, but it's actually really, really good. I love it. And it doesn't like get on your skin. It just coats your brow hairs and it sticks them up. Like these are stuck down. I would really recommend it. It's really good. I think if there's anything else I have to put you guys on because I love giving you guys recommendations of products that i've been loving i feel like i need to go through my current favorite makeup routines because i have so many like i have this today which is more like natural vibes i have a really like unreal glam routine which i've been loving and then i have like a mid mid routine that's kind of like not really glam but kind of glam and i haven't done a haul in ages wow i really need to step up my game i need to do a haul comment down below where you want me to do a haul from and i will do it that will be my task for next week to film a haul for you guys. How did it go meeting your sister? I remember you said at the start of the year. Yes, it was so good. Um, we literally speak every day. And I think we're going to go out in the next few weeks, hopefully. I might vlog it because I think we're going to go shopping. Do a little sister shopping day. So when I tell you the rosemary oil hype is worth the hype. I feel like my hair, like if I put it straight, it's kind of got a bit of a curl in it. It's actually really long. It looks so thin there. It is thick. It's just that quite a lot of my hair. Wow, I've actually put a lot of my hair in this half up thing. Hair growth mission is going good and it's going strong. When I finish uni, I'm gonna go to my hairdresser and I'm gonna ask her to do a full on bronze moment and kind of just have blonde face framing and maybe go a bit more brunette. Who is she? Not too brunette, still keeping some of the blonde, but just kind of making it a little bit more styled because I feel like I am very brunette now. Like this all here is my natural hair. I think that's pretty much all the life updates I have for you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is, but if there is, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Honestly, it feels so good to have a little chat with you all. I do just wanna thank you all so much for the love and support. It genuinely means the world to me and I will see you all in my next video.